Nepalese soldiers have retrieved the aircraft's black boxes from the wreckage of PIA Flight 268. Investigators look at the plane's flight path as the crew prepares for landing. They started their descent. At 16 miles out, they're at 10,500 feet. Then down to 9,500 at 13 miles. 8,200 at 10 miles. Then quickly down to 7,500 until impact at 7,280. The data reveals an astonishing fact. So, a thousand feet too low, right from the get-go. Wait a minute. There you go. Perfect match. They were flying the approach, but one step ahead. What if the problem is the actual approach chart itself? To avoid the mountains surrounding Kathmandu, pilots follow an approach chart about the size of a large postcard. It provides the specific altitudes pilots must take at set distances from the airport. They study the same chart used by the flight crew. So is, let's say, 8,200 feet the right altitude for 10 miles or 8 miles? It's hard to say. Even harder when it's actual size. Investigators need to know how the crew would have prepared themselves for the complicated approach. They examine the cockpit layout of an identical Pakistan International Airlines Airbus A300. There's no place to clip an approach chart here. There is just here. Now only the captain can see it. And he'd have to keep turning his head. Unlikely they use that. More likely he put it here. The other clip is a full three feet away from either pilot. That's not much better. It's almost impossible to read. And that handle is blocking the descent profile. They learn that Pakistan International Airlines has only two places for pilots to clip their charts. Both positions make it very difficult to read a four inch wide piece of paper. Could it be? Then, quite by accident, the investigators discover a key clue regarding the pilot's misreading of the approach chart. This definitely makes it look like 10,500 is the correct altitude at 16 miles. Robinson finally has a theory he can put to the test. Kathmandu Tower, good afternoon. Pakistan 268, 25 miles at 11,500. Just a few minutes before impact, the first officer reports being 25 miles from the airport at the correct altitude of 11,500 feet. Pakistan 268 report, 16 miles, wind 180, expect Sierra approach. Roger, call you at 16 miles, expecting Sierra approach. Sierra approach, Commander. But when the captain looks at the approach chart, his thumb may have obscured the correct next altitude. Here it is. Watch my levels. Now, instead of maintaining 11,500 feet, Captain Janjua dials in the next altitude on the chart. Descending to 10,500. Oblivious that his plane's approach is now one step ahead. The crew has now made a fatal mistake. Unaware, the airliner is now descending towards a violent collision with the side of a mountain. <laughs> 